In the developed world, learning numbers with a mobile app like this one is nothing new. But in developing countries like Tanzania, the impact can be life-changing. 90% of the kids who will receive these tablets are at zero. 90% of the kids who are going to receive these tablets cannot identify a letter. The challenge of universal education may seem insurmountable, but folks at the XPRIZE Foundation think it can be solved with technology and a hefty reward. The Global Learning X Prize is a $15 million competition challenging the world's best educational app developers to create an app that lets kids teach themselves basic reading, writing, and arithmetic. Can you develop something that's so intuitive, so inferential, so dynamic that you give it to a child who is illiterate in a very remote part of the world, she picks it up, she touches it, and she begins to learn how to read. And that's the challenge that we put out to the world. 198 teams took up the challenge, and five finalists were recently awarded a million dollars each to test their app with approximately 4,000 children in Tanzania. Creating something that works uh, for children who've perhaps never seen a tablet before, never used a tablet or even television, uh, is, is very difficult. So keeping it simple, keeping it focused on the needs of the individual child and, and adapting to, to how they learn are, are the key ingredients. Global constraints in school construction and staffing are leading competitors to rethink traditional models of learning. We believe that primary education, which until now has not been really democratized by the evolution of new technology, I think it's ripe for a change. If we can prove that a child needs no instruction other than what's on that device, then we begin a series of events that will lead, I think, inexorably to a device that is designed for that child in that part of the world with a teacher on it. In tackling universal access to education, the answers may just lie at the tip of our fingers. Tina Trin, VOA News, New York.